CNBC TV 18, embarking on a quarter century of excellence. Okay, welcome back. Uh, Dean Kim is with us, William O'Neill. Dean, good to have you with us here. For the market, is the move maturing a little bit in the near term, or do you think uh, this leg has got more to go? Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I think uh, it largely depends on what the central banks around the world are going to do with respect to fighting inflation. But the good news is, you know, we see inflation coming down globally. Uh, for example, we'll, we'll hear what Jay Powell has to say tomorrow, but uh, for example, Bank of England and uh, ECB, they're about to announce their rate decision on Thursday. Um, but uh, overall, we think uh, the fight for inflation is working. Um, and also, but there is one lingering question, which is, you know, when we look at the U.S., the bond yields inverted. Uh, so are we going to see a slowdown? And is it going to be a soft landing or hard landing? Now, when I look at market action, the market is pricing for a soft landing. Uh, so if that's the case, uh, then uh, I think we will see recovery globally in terms of equity markets heading into t uh, 2024. Um, Dean, hi. Good morning. It's been a really good year for the Indian markets, and we've discussed this ad nauseum. Do you think we can build on to our gains beyond this 21,000 level on the Nifty? If yes, what is the ceiling looking like for the market now? Well, I mean, uh, certainly, you know, India has done well. Uh, we categorize the, the market as being an uptrend, uh, but the market is uh, heavily overbought after making year-to-day high, you know, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so we may see a bit of a pullback, uh, but the good news is the 10-day moving average is just 1% below. Uh, but overall, we continue to be very constructive on the uh, Indian market. Uh, but just be aware that, you know, uh, you know, we do see signs of uh, potential short-term cooling off, which is fine. Um, we just want to make sure that uh, the market is going to catch uh, short-term support at the uh, short-term moving averages and then work itself back up again. In terms of, you know, how high it's going to go, um, I, th I think it's going to go much higher um, because of the fact that, um, you know, let's face it, China is, uh, is in trouble. Um, and all attention is going to be in India. And uh, when you look at the bigger themes that are out there uh, in terms of moving companies out of China, uh, Southeast Asia, uh, including India, they're all going to be beneficiaries. So um, I think we may see a, a change of, uh, you know, character in terms of um, economics uh, going forward. Hi, Dean. Morning. Uh, what about crude oil prices? I think we're just 5% away from the 52-week lows, which is great news from an India perspective. What's your view out there? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, right now, oil is sitting at 71. Um, next support is uh, $69. Um, uh, there is some resistance uh, at the uh, $72 range and then 75 But when you look at it, you know, uh, overall, it's uh, very constructive. Um, so, is, you know, it, it, is it a question of uh, the oil market sort of pricing in a slowdown? Um, you know, potentially, but uh, that's good news for India, for sure. All right, Dean, we leave it at that. Thanks a lot for joining in. Appreciate your thoughts. So that's the global setup, and uh, the prognosis on India continues to be positive. But plenty.